Hello there, this is Rahul and today we are going to talk about the Terraform user data block. Terraform user data block an important concept when you are trying to set up a virtual machine but you also want to do some pre-configuration or a bootstrapping setup. So what does it mean by the pre-configuration or bootstrapping setup? Suppose you have started a virtual machine which is empty but you don't want an empty virtual machine. You want to have certain packages installed already onto your virtual machine. So what you're going to do, you're just going to use the user data block and with the help of user data block you can execute some shell script and in those shell script you can specify you want to install python you want to install ansible you want to install uh, apache you want to install nginx server so uh, this user data block is a part of a terraform code and whenever you're just going to run that terraform code then it is going to set up a virtual machine as well as install those packages also so yeah it might sound complex right now but uh, it is really easy and that we will see into this particular demo so let's switch over to the demo and see what the user data means. All right, let's start with our first point and what is the user data and why should we use inside our Terraform. So just to explain a bit. So here I have taken a very basic example. And in this example, first of all, I'm just trying to set up an EC2 machine over here. So th this is the initial code which you can see where I have specified the AMI and the type of the machine. And in case if you are using GCP, Google Cloud or Azure, then this part will change because there you will uh, set up a different instructions for provisioning the virtual machine in Google Cloud and Azure. But the concept is same pretty much. So here, first of all, I'm just writing this code to set up an EC2 virtual machine, which is uh, based on Ubuntu. And second, here I'm just writing this user data block over here. So in this user data block, I'm just writing a shell script. So if you'll see carefully over here, so this is the first the beginning of the shell script. And this is the actual shell script, which is just creating a hello.txt file. So this is the hello.txt file, which I'm just creating over here. And this is the echo message, which will be get written into this hello.txt file. So this is a very simple example, which I have found uh, to explain the user data. So whenever you're working with the user data, then you use user data block to do a pre setup for your virtual machine. So what will happen when you will execute the Terraform apply command on this particular example? So it will create an EC2 virtual machine, but as well as it will just execute this user data block. And once it execute this user data block, then it will just create this hello.txt file inside your EC2 machine. So that's the purpose of our user data block to do the initial setup or a bootstrapping setup whenever you are provisioning any virtual machine on any cloud platform, whether it's AWS, whether it's Google Cloud or whether it's Azure. Let's switch over to the IntelliJ, which is my IDE and do some demo with the example which I have just explained to you. So here is my example code. So the, here I'm using the AWS because I'm working on an AWS environment. So here I have specified the reason and my credential file. Secondly, this is my resource, which is AWS instance. And here I'm specifying what kind of instance I'm using. So that is T2.micro, which is a small machine, which I'm using for the demo. And uh, here are some setups which I have done. Uh, don't worry, you will get all this code onto from my GitHub repository. So you can just copy everything. But the important thing over here is this user data block. So here I have written the bash script. And in that bash script, I'm just uh, writing an echo message and just writing that echo message into my text file. So this is just an example. Uh, so I will just switch over to my terminal. And here the first command which I'll just execute is terraform init. That's been done. I'll clear the screen. The next command which I'm just going to execute is Terraform plan just to see how many resources it is going to add or create. So here you can see it is going to create three resources. That's fine. I'll just clear the screen. And the final command which I'm just going to run is Terraform apply. It might take a couple of minutes. So I'll just fast forward this one. I'll just type yes. All right, so as you can see, our Terraform apply has been completed successfully. And here you can see the message. It has added the three resources. Now the next thing we will do, we will SSH into our EC2 machine and we will just verify that hello.txt file has been created or not using our user data block. Before we SSH into our EC2 machine, I just wanted to show you the AWS console of uh, my EC2 instance. So here you can see this is the EC2 instance which is running. And if you click on connect, then you can see the public subnet uh, of my EC2 machine, which we are going to use to SSH into our EC2 machine. 
Okay, so now coming back to the terminal, I'm just clear the screen and I'm just gonna paste the SSH command and I'm just gonna simply hit enter, type yes to accept. And here you can see we have SSH into our EC2 machine which we have just set up. I'm just gonna clear the screen so that I can get a little bit more space. And first of all, we just wanna check where we are. So I'm just gonna issue the PWD command and here you can see we are on a home and Ubuntu, but our text file has been created at the root location because that's the default location where user data executes. So I'm just gonna go back. So I'm just gonna uh, jump one directory back, verify, yeah, we are at home directory. I'm just gonna one, jump one more directory back. And now we are at root location, here you can see. And I'm just gonna issue the command ls. And here you can see, this is the hello.txt, which we have just created using our user data block. And we can just issue the hello uh, cat hello txt command also to verify the content. So here you can see the hello world dot which is like a return uh, using the user data block using inside our Terraform uh, example. Now we have seen the basic example of a Terraform user data. So the next question comes like what advanced thing which you can do with your Terraform user data block. So here you can see one example which I'm taking it over here. So here I'm writing a shell script file, which is a separate shell script file, which will be responsible for creating some directories and installing some Apache onto our EC2 virtual machine. So here you can see if I will zoom it over here. So here it is first of all, updating the package manager for our Uber, uh, EC2 machine, which we have, uh, which we will set up using our Terraform. Then it is going to install the Apache, then it is going to start the Apache and then it is going to enable the Apache so that we can access the home page of our Apache 2 server. And then this is the message which we are going to uh, create. This is just going to be an HTML file which we will be accessing. So this, this is a little bit more advanced stuff which you can achieve with the user data block inside your Terraform. But now you have created this file and this file is you have saved with the name install apache.sh. So this is the file which is residing separately. So how will you call this shell script file inside the user data block? Like in the previous example we have seen, we have actually hard coded our shell script, but here we are just creating this file separately. So here, this is the example uh, code for how to refer or how to call that particular shell script file. So here you will notice uh, we are pretty much using the same thing. Here we are trying to set up an EC2 machine over here. So this is an EC2 machine. But here if you look carefully, so this is the uh, function that is the file function we need to use. And here we need to specify the name of the file. So this is going to be the file where we have written our shell script. And this is the user data block, uh, the, the concept which we are talking about. So you need to specify the user data block, you need to specify the file function because uh, our file, the shell script file resides separately. And then you need to specify the name of the file. So once you do this, then what will happen as soon as you start your EC2 machine, it will just read this user data block, it will just execute this particular shell script and it will do all the things which is written inside that particular shell script file. Okay, let's head over to our IntelliJ and see this demo in action. All right, so here is my uh, IntelliJ. So I'll just comment out my previous example where we have created a hello.txt. So I just don't want that. So I will comment out this section and I will enable the file function where we will be calling the install apache.assets. So I'm talking about this. And if I show you over here onto my screen, so if I can, increase it a little, let me give me a second. So here you can see I have created the install apache.sh separately and this is the content of my install apache.sh. So where we will be updating the package, installing the Apache, starting the Apache and then finally enabling the Apache. Let's head over to terminal and run some terraform command. So this is my terminal and the first command which I'm just gonna run is terraform init. Then I'll just clear it. And the second command which I'm just going to run is terraform plan. And here you can see it is planning to add three resources, which is fine. I'll just clear the screen once again. And the final command which I'm just going to run is terraform apply. And type yes. It might take a few minutes, uh, but I'll just fast forward and I'll just come back when it's ready. 
So here you can see our Terraform apply command has just finished and uh, we can I can just show you the AWS console also. I'll just refresh it over here and here you can see our instance is running and uh, these are the public subnet to connect uh, to our EC2 instance. All right, so I'll just move it to the right hand side and this is the command uh, which I'll be using to connect to my EC2 instance. I'll just copy it. I'll just clear the screen and I'll just paste the command. Uh, type yes to accept it and here you can see we are able to uh, SSH into our EC2 machine. Let's first verify whether we have installed the Apache 2 server successfully or not. So the first command which I'm just going to run is to verify the status of Apache 2. So I'm just going to run systemctl status Apache 2 and here you can see uh, the service is up and running. So next thing which I'm just going to verify is uh, by curling localhost because I am inside the machine. That's why I'm using localhost and enter. And here you can see uh, I can access the basic HTML page like deployed via Terraform. And here you can see uh, this is the echo message which I have written inside my shell script and which was creating a very basic HTML file in for our Apache. So this was just a little bit more advanced example like how you can use the user data uh, block to achieve some complex functionality using the shell script. So this was just a small demo on how to use the user data block inside your Terraform projects and I hope you can use this basic example to implement the complex functionality based on your needs. Uh, I'll put the link of the guide which I have just shared into the demo uh, into the description sections just so feel free to use it and also share the GitHub repository where I have created all this example. So just feel free to clone that GitHub repo also. And if you have any questions or suggestions then please put down into the comment section. I'll try to answer those and see you into the next session of uh, DevOps or Terraform. Till then take care and bye bye.